great Tuesday evening, May 18, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another day. We're in 2 Kings 5, and I need to ask you a question. Have you done something where you're like, what made me do that? Like, where did that come from? I was having a deep conversation with a childhood friend. We've known each other for over 40 years uh, since grade school. And we were talking about various classmates, but there was one in particular, and we all can think of someone where, like, what made them wind up in this place? Like, you, you're not in second or third grade, and you never expect to do time in jail or... You never plan to be a schemer or you never expect that the feds will be after you. Well, this has something to do with 2 Kings, the fifth chapter. Now, you remember the story of the Shunammite woman and remember when she made the room for Elisha and Gehazi, you know, perceived that she didn't have a child and you know she was well off and they asked well what would you want and pretty much the Lord blessed her with a son okay so that was pretty much uh Gehazi was Elisha's I won't say sidekick but servant well fast forward a few chapters after that story so let's see was that second kings four we're in 2 Kings 5? I guess, yeah. So, then there was the story of Naaman. We're, we're familiar with that, where Naaman was a commander, and it says that he was a man of valor. He was brave and everything, but he had a skin disease, okay? And we know that Elisha gave him instructions. And you know, Naaman was like, oh, I'm so insulted. Why would you, you know, have me go in the waters of Israel? If anything, at least let me go into the rivers of Damascus. And then he didn't come out and give me the message. And then he didn't wave his hand over me, you know, to declare he was insulted. But Elisha, Elisha gave the message and Naaman's servants were like, you know what, chill, chill. Listen, you need to listen to Elisha's commands. You know, if it was something grandiose, wouldn't you do it? So if it's something simple, why wouldn't you do it? So he went ahead and he got healed. Something that happened. So Elisha was approached by Naaman and Naaman's people. They wanted to reward him. They're like, oh, if we want to give you silver, gold, clothes, all this, olive orchards. And Elisha was like, there is no way in the world, he, he used stronger language, but he was like, there's no way in the world I would accept a penny for what I was called to do. So, later on, Gehazi, I don't know, it's like, now well, Gehazi was his servant. He got greedy, and he was the one uh, who made up a story saying, oh yeah, we have a visitor and yeah, we need some clothes for this guy who's visiting us and yeah, we we need this and that. So Naaman was like, oh, no problem. So he doubled what the request was and Gehazi kept the goods. He kept the silver, he kept the gold, he kept the clothes, he kept the orchard and all his blessings. And then, when, you know, Elisha perceived, like, what happened? Don't you know that my spirit went with you? I was there when you were interacting with Naaman. And Gehazi lied, but then he got caught. And what happened was he then became leprous. What I'm saying is, where, where did that come from? I know it's human nature that we want to scheme. All of us, you know, think we'll, we won't be found out. But where did that come from? And, and talking about this childhood friend who did time, perhaps they didn't feel enough or they felt, and this person in childhood would, would duplicate what another friend would do. And they didn't have enough confidence within themselves. So... Every crime always traces back to a void. Every, every killing, every theft 
So the point is we're to build up while we have a chance, especially the children, because it stays in adulthood, that identity. And that's, again, a reference to the book, What Happened to You by Dr. Bruce Perry and Oprah Winfrey. What do you have to say about that song? Or do you have anything from Proverbs 18? I bet you it's connected in some way. Oh, through desire. Yeah, because Gehazi desired, but he coveted. But through desire, a man having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. They can't hear. You have to have an incentive or like you have to want to be wise. You have to want to be wise. Above all else, no jewels, no car, no money can satisfy. And even when we get that stuff, but wisdom is the principal thing, the first thing. Yeah, yeah. And Gehazi probably was like, man, who wasn't even worth it? Now, and not only did Gehazi have leprosy, but his descendants, everyone in his bloodline after that. So we have to be mindful of the future, who comes after us. And then we have to think about what happened before. The remedy is to seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face forevermore. And he'll give us the desires of our heart as it's aligned with him. And we won't have those Gehazi moments or hiccups. All right. Have a good evening being fulfilled in the Lord's presence alone. Good night.